I'm Jake, Director of Product. We were using Zoom and we switched to Microsoft Teams. For more reviews like this, click below. So in 2021, one of the main things that both of these solve is being able to work remotely. We've got a, a company that's distributed throughout the world, multiple time zones. And so being able to stay connected and have video conferences with people that are in different spots is really what we've tried to solve with both of these products. One of the things that Microsoft Teams really excels at is being part of a larger ecosystem that's Office 365. And so you're able to integrate a lot of different applications, whether it's PowerPoint or Word or Excel, or the Teams application itself with chat directly into the video aspects of the application. And so it's part of that larger ecosystem that works pretty well. One of the things that Zoom really excels at is it's kind of a one trick pony. It does meetings really well. So whether you're working with people that are tech, more technologically savvy or not, um, it's pretty easy to say, hey, click this link, you can join the meeting. And you don't have to do a whole bunch of additional configuration on their end. And so it's pretty user friendly in terms of being able to get everybody on the same page. So in terms of onboarding, Zoom was a lot easier. There's fewer bells and whistles to tinker with and trying to get right. Um, and so it was a lot easier for our team to get up and going with Zoom. Microsoft Teams, on the other hand, it's a, a little more intense in terms of the configuration for the enterprise side of a lot of controls and restrictions. And it's easy to kind of get lost between all of the bells and whistles and knobs and dials that you can turn as an administrator. And so it took some time to make sure that everything was configured and, and working correctly on the Microsoft Teams front. So I think some of the considerations to look for is, what do you need done? Are you needing a simple video conferencing solution? Then Zoom makes a lot of sense. If you're already paying for Office 365 and you're very steeped in the Microsoft Office ecosystem, then it's a lot easier to add Teams in as one more component that kind of is the glue that ties it all together. And so it really depends on what you're trying to do, the job that you need done, being able to have video conferences or more of a glue that cohesively puts everything together.